welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at ions. An ion is a charged atom, and there's two types of ions that we could have, a positive ion and a negative ion. When there's a loss of electrons, we're left with a positive ion, because if we're losing electrons, that means there's now more protons in the atom than there are electrons. Remember, protons have a plus one charge, electrons have a minus one. So if we lose electrons, we have more protons in the atom than electrons. So that would result in a positive ion. When an atom gains an electron, that will result in a negative ion because now there's more electrons which have a minus one charge than there are protons. And both of these things will happen in order to satisfy the octet rule. So atoms can gain electrons or lose electrons in order to become stable and follow the octet rule that they want eight valence electrons in their outermost energy level. So with our two types of ions, there are some trends that we need to know. Metals in general on the left-hand side of the periodic table will form positive ions. They're going to lose electrons to become stable. Non-metals on the right-hand side of the periodic table will gain electrons to become negative ions. So metals will lose electrons, non-metals will gain electrons. And let's take a look at why that happens. If we look at sodium, sodium has an atomic number of 11, which means there's 11 electrons within the atom. So if we looked at the electron configuration, it would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. And if we drew this out, sodium has two electrons in the first energy level, eight in the second energy level, and one in the third energy level. So right now, sodium has one valence electron. But if it were to lose that electron, if it were to give that electron to another element, then if we erased it, if we gave that electron away, look what we have underneath that 3s shell. We have 2s and 2p, which gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight valence electrons and we've now satisfied the octet rule. Sodium has become like neon, which is a noble gas on the periodic table that already has eight valence electrons and is already stable. So sodium will give away one valence electron to become stable like a noble gas. So sodium just lost an electron. It lost that 3s electron, which means now it has more protons in the nucleus than it does electrons. Because sodium still has an atomic number of 11, so there's 11 protons there, but we lost one electron, so there's only 10 electrons. So that means sodium would have an overall charge of plus one. And then let's take a look at fluorine. Fluorine has an atomic number of nine, so its electron configuration would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. So fluorine has seven valence electrons. To follow the octet rule, it needs to gain one more valence electron. So if we were to look at a model, we have the nucleus and then two electrons in that first energy level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons in the second energy level. So fluorine is very close to being stable. It needs one more electron, so it will gain an electron, usually from a metal, which means now if we were to look back at our electron configuration, we could add one electron there. So we have nine protons. The number of protons never changes. So we still have nine protons, but now look, we have 10 total electrons. So we have one more electron than we have protons in the nucleus. So fluorine would have an overall charge of negative one. It is now an ion. So atoms will form ions in order to become stable like the noble gases on the periodic table. All elements want to become stable and sometimes they have to become ions in order to achieve that. 
And again, metals will achieve their goal by becoming positive ions. Non-metals will achieve this goal by becoming negative ions. And usually the metal will actually give its electron to And forming an ion is the very first step of a special type of bonding called ionic bonding, which you can take a look at in my next video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any other questions, make sure and leave a comment.